At the start of the race, all the focus is on the driver and how he performs on the track. But before that, the men and women of the pit crew put in hours of work to give their team a shot at winning. We're starting near the front and we hope we'll finish there too. Matt Bishop is the crew chief for Patron Racing and showed me what it takes to work for his crew. Spokes, thumb, put it on there, grab the gun, and away we go. <laughs> pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. Way to go, Tom. Do you think it was very good? I think you did great. But don't be asking for a pay raise just yet. What, may, <laughs> what, makes, uh, what, what makes a pro uh, better than me? Among the jobs is fueling up the cars. That's what Steve Johnson does. He says what makes a great crew member is someone who can stay cool under pressure. They've done like heart rates on guys that are really good and they're actually just very calm. And I think that's the key is just slow it down and don't make any mistakes. The man behind the wheel is Guy Cosmo. He says professional racing is nothing like zipping down the freeway. Everybody thinks you sit there and you turn the steering wheel and move your feet, and that's simple as that. It's 130 degrees inside that car and optimum race temperatures. It's a lot of noise, a lot of vibration, a lot of physical effort. He's the first to admit that the inside of his car is pretty much a cockpit and did his best to explain what everything does. So on my left side, I have the downshift. On my right, I have the upshift. There's even a button to press if you need to clean your windshield. Cosmo's favorite part about Laguna Seca, the infamous corkscrew. Whoever gets there first on the last lap almost always wins. We'll have their crew to thank as they take the checkered flag. At Laguna Seca, Tom Miller, KSBW Action News 8.